on the shop post. I finally hunt down. I finally hunt down. We found Junior. We found Junior's truck, man. I took a piece of his hair. Got my dog. We skipped him out. Only drove six hours. I don't know. I think that's him, man. Let's see if he's gonna let me in his truck. That's what I like to do. All right. All right. Hey guys, we're at the watch. Wait, what is Asian My Show? You don't yeah. know our show. Hold up, I do know Asian My Show. Go check it out. He almost said Maya, like everybody else I know. What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So today we have a special guest. If you don't know that truck over there, I don't know. What's that big H stand for over there, sir? Honduras. Honduras. <laughs> uh, am I saying it right? My Spanish is probably not as great. Honduras. Yeah. yeah Honduras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have Junior Honduras with us today. So. What are we talking about today, brother? Um, you know, first I'd like to say, you know, I appreciate you having me on your channel and, you know, taking the time out of your day to come out here and meeting with me and stuff. And, uh, you know, I got a delivery around the corner, so it was a great opportunity to meet up with you and stuff. And I really want to talk about goals. You know, I like to always tell people set goals, you know, as far as coming out here and getting their CDL. You know, you don't want people coming out here and drowning in this game because i know people that are at, they got 10 years in the game got nothing to show for nothing like hey man what are you doing oh i've been driving 10 years uh you got a house no you got a car no so anytime anybody comes out here i always tell them set some goals you know because that'll give you something to strive for whether it get whether it be get your cdl whether it pass your cdl the first shot whether it be get your own truck, you know, whatever it is, you have to set some goals because if you don't set any goals, you don't really have a little path to follow, you know, but I mean, what, what do you think about that? So, okay, so if, if we're realistically <laughs> talking about goals, you know, you hear a lot of people say, you need to start goals, but what's step number one? What would you recommend for people want to get in trucking? What's their step one goal? If they want to get in trucking, first step is, make sure that this is really what you want to do. If you have a family, make sure you and your family are good. Because if you have a family, like we say wife and kids, right? you know, it ain't about convincing your partner that you want to come out here. It's about make sure you, you know, you and your partner are on the same page. Cause I can sit here and convince my wife. Right. I want to come and do this. Right. I'll convince her, but that only works maybe a month or two until she's like, oh man, I need you home. So Facts. you have to make sure that you guys are on the same page, get your stuff right back home, come out here and do this. Make sure you like to drive, you know what I mean? Just basically make sure you're good at home. Get that stuff set up with your wife, your kids. If you have nobody, make sure you're good. Um, and come out here and do this. Definitely research the company you wanna do this with. I, always, I personally recommend going to a company that's gonna give you a, or help you get your CDL as opposed to a school. Uh, a school's only gonna get, help you get your CDL, that's it. A company's gonna teach you while you're learn, uh, teach you to get your CDL while you're on the job. So it's like OJT on the job training type thing. Right, right, no, I feel you on that. And then so like, just say, let's go through an example for all you mother truckers out here listening. <laughs> so if you wanna set goals for yourself and you say, okay, I've decided I do wanna be a truck driver, right? Now, you want to drive trucks or drive drive trucks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you would you say that what's the first money saving tip? Because a lot to do with having goals and having something set for the future, like cars, house, and having a foundation. You know, do you have any budgeting or saving tips for these new people? Well, first things first, you want to come out here and start this. It might be hard at first. You got to get the wheels rolling. And second thing is you gotta get your credit right. You know, it's all about credit now. If you don't have a credit, a good credit number, FICO score, you're nobody. I don't care how much money you got. Yeah, cash talks, but you know, there's certain things that we wanna do unless you got a hundred thousand dollars, you're gonna go buy a house cash. Right. Then you're not gonna need credit. But if you don't have it and you're starting somewhere, you definitely wanna get work on uh, working on your credit. And then slowly start to put money on the side. Like, you know, there was a, um, a picture I posted up on Instagram yesterday or a couple of days ago. It said, uh, 
you know, a saying that says, hey, man, I don't see you at the club. Hey, I don't see you at the bank either. So, hey, <laughs> I, hey, I feel you. you know, so, <laughs> no, that's real talk right there. Right, right. No. Like, I don't go to clubs, man. I ain't got time for that because, I'm, you know, I'm out here, you know, providing for my family and stuff and saving and for the future and stuff. So you have to start somewhere and you have to be disciplined with how you do it. No, I could agree to that. And it's funny that you said that because real talk, I saved up $70,000 and I tried to buy a condo for 80000 And at the time I had bad credit. The bank wouldn't loan me $10,000 because they didn't trust me. Real talk. So if you think that credit isn't everything, credit in America is leveraging everything. So if you want to, if you want to come out here, real talk, and and you want to make a goal and save money and things like that, it don't matter if you got bad credit, man. Cash right. does talk, but to the banks it don't. Yeah, and you know, and I'm not saying that cash is not gonna work. It'll work, but as you start to grow, right, you're gonna need some type of credit. I I, I kid you not, you're gonna need some type of credit because eventually, maybe you want to buy a house, a car, even a truck. You don't know. I mean, you just don't know. Uh, you know, and you know, credibility means a lot to these guys out here. Because if you get a credit, you pay off that truck, and you know you can build your fleet like that. If you were looking to do that. So, people always say like have goals like a now goal, like a five year plan and a ten year plan. What are, What are your thoughts? Because uh, for trucking, does that work out, or you know, what would you recommend to new truck drivers? Well, I would say. Um, just sit down and write some stuff up, and I'm just gonna go off the head, top of my head. One of the goals be like find the right company, scratch right. that off. You got you have to go from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. So find the right company to get my CDL. Second goal will be get my CDL. Third goal will be maybe um, get a trainer because there's a lot of people out there that. Um, you go to the company and there's a lot of the shortage of trainers. I know there are. You know, it's not just where I work and stuff, it's everywhere. Another goal would be save up five thousand dollars. Another goal would be get my credit right. Another goal would be you know, there's so many goals that you can write up and right. it's all about writing it down and on a monthly basis start scratching them off. So some, some goals are going to be long term, like maybe a couple years, you know, like getting a house. Right. But if you see it every morning, you get up, you look at that list. Right. Like, that is where I want to get to. You got something to strive for. But if you got nothing, man, you get up in the morning like, nah, I ain't got nothing. I'm just not. I don't, you got nothing to go for. But if you have something to strive for, then you're motivated to do a lot more as opposed to, eh. I'm all right. Uh, I ain't got nothing to go for, you know. So <laughs> No, but that's facts, though, because so for all you listening to this, if you're not writing down goals, you're failing right now. So, you know, this is a man that's been trucking and has experience. And before you started writing goals, was there a time when you didn't? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before I even did this, like when I was working back home and stuff, I had my regular nine to five job or eight to four, whatever. You know, I was a plant manager, and then I didn't write any goals because I felt I wasn't really escalating. Right. No, I know what you're talking about. You know, it's like, okay, I'm at a dead-end job, and this is what it's going to be like, and why am I going to write a goal for it if I'm never going to get it there? You know, one of the goals that I had then was eventually one day get a house. And when I got out here and, and the driving trucks, that was my number one goal. Wow. My number one goal was to get a house. And so when you wrote down this goal, uh, or when you wrote down this goal, Junior, how long did it take for this to actually happen then? It took three years. Three years? I think that's fast. <laughs> I, I, I got my credit right. Right. Save up some money and bought me a car and then got me the house. And, you know, it takes time and... Right now, I have another list of goals that I'm striving for. You just got to erase, add, erase, add. And, right. But it keeps you motivated to do it on a daily basis, get you going. It, oh, I'm away from my wife and kids. Yeah, it's hard. But 
if you got them goals, you and your wife or your partner, even if you're by yourself, you talk about this on a daily basis, you got something to strive for. You got something to get up and drive for. You know, it ain't just about you driving. It ain't just about you making the delivery on time. It's about you got something to go for. Eventually, you're going to accomplish that. And that's what it's about, you know. Man, so I, I would hate to ask you this. So for all the people on my channel listening <laughs> and watching this. You can ask me anything, man. Can, can they come to your channel? And, and can they ask you questions about this? Uh, will, will you help them with this? You know what I mean? Yeah, they, anybody can come to my channel and ask me any questions. You know, one of the hardest things now is, you know, getting the response because I have so many emails and, and stuff on Facebook and, and messages on Facebook, I mean. Um, but yeah, I do my best at responding to, to people, questions and stuff. And yeah, anybody can come over there and, you know, ask questions, man, anytime, anytime. No, that's what's up. So at the so at the end of this interview, Junior, uh, what would you like to leave people with? Just, just set some goals, guys. Come out here, set some goals, because you don't want to be that person that's been driving ten years and have nothing to show for. It's like, man, I hear that a lot, though. <laughs> like I, I talk to so many. See, here's the thing, man. You don't different jobs. That <laughs> that's true. How many jobs do you see the nine to fives after they work twenty five years? They got a pension, they got benefits, they got this, they got that. In trucking, it's kind of not like that. No, you have, the chances of you doing a lot of those things in life are way better. Way better, like, like I wanted to get a house and it took three years for me to get the house and I didn't think I was gonna get one so soon, but you know, luckily I was given the opportunity to drive a truck, save money and do it. But, you know, just like that, you got some other goals. As you, you know, like that May song, there's a song with Mason Puff that is, the more money, the more problems. Uh-oh, we're going to hear some rapping right now. <laughs> no, that, <laughs> you know, that, that tends to be true. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so, you know, as you, as you uh, start racking up the years, you know, you start getting some traction on your CDL, you get opportunities, more doors are opening up. So... Goals are gonna change on a yearly, weekly, monthly basis. Just set some. Don't come out here and don't know what you're getting up for. Don't know why you're driving the truck. You gotta know why you're doing this. That's so true. Set some goals, man. That's all I say. That's cool, and, man. And that's something you know. I've always said that. I've always said that. So, yeah, man. No, I appreciate you, brother. Because I think self-reflection is important. Because if you know. The only person you're really lying to is yourself. Right. Let's be honest. Well, like, in, my, in my case, it's my wife and kids. So, right? You know, and that's the thing. You know, a, a lot of people they get out here and they're like, "Oh, I'm making money," but if you're out here and, and you're going to the casinos, you're going to the nightclubs every yeah. night, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're not really making any money. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. And and so stop playing yourself. Be real with yourself. You know, don't just go out here and get a damn sports car. Don't go out here and go just start helping out. And here's my problem. Don't go out and start helping out everybody and their mama right away. You got to help <laughs> yourself first. Yeah. Get yourself right. Because if you don't, you're going to be broke. Yeah. And a yeah. broke person that's depressed, that doesn't have goals, they're not going to be able to help anybody, man. Yeah. Real talk. And there's a song uh, with Slim Thug. I, I forgot what it's called. But it says that if you hang with the wrong crowd... You're not gonna go anywhere. How are you trying to soar with eagles if you're hanging with, uh, if you're flocking with chickens? Hey, so I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. You know what I mean? There's facts on that, man. It's like, how are you trying to be somewhere, but you over here hanging with the wrong crowd and holding you back and stuff? So just make facts. sure you hang with the right people and, you know, surround yourself with positive vibe. So that's what's up, brother. Well, no, you know, I appreciate you so much for everything, brother. Yeah, and man. everybody, man, all you mother truckers out there, my channel. If you're not already subscribed to this man, you need to get over there because he's actually helping people. And you know me, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that about just anybody. Okay. So, <laughs> facts. Real yeah, talk. Man, you know, because I call out bullshit real quick. You know what I mean? And and I reached out to Junior, and you know what? We're out here. We're hanging out. You can see his truck right there. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And got... and I'm not gonna show him text messages. But this man right here showed me a lot of love because he just wanted to get this information out for you guys. So, you know, uh, thanks yeah, so much yeah. for being on, brother. I appreciate you having me on here on your channel. And, you know, check me out on Instagram, YouTube, 
um, Facebook and Snapchat, all Junior Honduras. You love know, it, brother. I love yeah, it, man. Yeah. Well, do you have any other social media? Uh, sh- YouTube, Face. They already know. They, they already know all mine. You know, I, I throw that <laughs> em- enough. But if you guys need to know how to back up, this guy's the backup master trainer. <laughs> He's te- he could teach anybody how to back up, man. So, man, I do my best, man. It's <laughs> humble, hard. humble, it's hard. Humble. It's hard. <laughs> man, I appreciate you, boss. Yeah, cool. yeah. Thanks for having me on here, guys. And you know, definitely set some goals. And every time you wake up in the morning, you know, it'll give you something to. To strive for and why you're driving in the morning, why you start your clock. So I, I love it, man. All right, people, peace out. All right.